brethren, the saints, the, uh, the little ones, the little children of God, so to speak, that may be little in their eyes, and you can't get up and say much and do much what you can. And let's just mix it up tonight with some praise, and uh, one of you brethren feel a message, and then make room for others. Um, I was talking to a couple of the brethren today, I said, the hardest thing I have as a preacher, and I think most preachers have that same problem. Um, I think problems are common to preachers, just like they're common to saints. You know, there's common salvation, and there's common problems in salvation. And some of those common problems are with common saints, and some are with common preachers. Right. And uh, so it's good to be able to see yourself in this mirror. Yeah. My, 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 did I see myself. Yeah. Oh, goodness, I got a side view, a front view, a back view, and uh, yeah. I see all kinds of self. Uh, you know, they, they're taking these, somebody was taking a picture the other day up in Cadillac, and they said, here, we want to take a selfie. And uh, what is that what it's called, a selfie? And I, I'm not familiar with all those terms. And I said, you gonna take a picture of what? A selfie. And uh, so selfies are very popular today. Yeah. You don't know what they are, find out. I'm not sure I want to tell you. But, uh, the, uh, uh, but anyhow, um, this, this is a, a, a mirror. It's a reflector. And you, you can see yeah. yourself in it yeah. very, very well. Yeah. Uh, just look at it. It's a, it's a laver yeah. lined with women's looking glasses. Oh. And right. you can see yourself. Right. You can see yourself in it. Yeah. Just look at it real good, and it'll show. Uh, I have a, we have a magnifying mirror over the house. And when I want to see something real close up in the crevice of my forehead here, that magnifying mirror will show it. Uh, you know, the ordinary mirror may not, but the magnifying mirror will. God's Word is a magnifying mirror. Uh, it, it, that's what it does. It's the labor, it's the labor in the court of the tabernacle. And it's uh, the washing place. And it became the labor in Solomon's temple that held 3,000 baths. Uh, now, the one in the court didn't hold that many. But in the temple, it was a greater labor. And the tabernacle in the wilderness, that labor didn't hold uh, uh, 3,000 baths, that much water. It didn't contain that. But when Solomon built his temple, he said of this house, seeing that the heaven of heaven cannot contain thee, how much less this house that I have built unto thee. So Solomon built a great house. But it still could contain God. And uh, that labor that Solomon put there held 3,000 baths, which was a picture of the 3,000 that were baptized in the Holy Ghost on the first day after Pentecost. There were 3,000 added to the church uh, daily, such as should be saved. That was signifying there was water uh, in the temple of God or however many that need it yes, yes. to get in. And there were 3,000, then 5,000. My, there was a lot of spirit flowing yes. in that church. And the second chapter of Acts wasn't there. 120, then there was enough for 3,000. Then there was enough for 5,000. And just kept multiplying. Sometimes we alone put restrictors on what God could pour out among oh, us. I was watching your service here Sunday night. Um, I got, we got parts of it. Brother David, through his technology, uh, got me to see. And um, uh, he was showing me the service. And I was watching you all praise the Lord. I was watching these ministers preach. Yes. I was watching the uh, service. I prayed for Brother Buddy when he had to leave with that high blood yes. uh, sugar thing. Uh, it, I got a close-up view of the church in action. And uh, I appreciated it. I, I listened to you brethren preach. But they don't know if I heard you preach uh, while I was gone through that technology. I, I tuned in on it and got it. Uh, he did. Praise God, I didn't. Uh, as you all know, I'm not kept on that. But uh, uh, he was able to uh, tune it in and get it for me. 
And uh, I appreciated seeing the church. Yeah. Brother Matthew, they got all over the field here yeah. Sunday night. And the people were coming. Yeah. And they were praising the Lord. Yeah. People were getting uh, prayed for. Yeah. And there was joy in the camp. And there was joy in the church because somebody had touched the hem of his garment. And people came, and it was a lively church. And I thought if I was looking at that from uh, Michigan, I didn't know the church. But I was hungry to see people worship God in old-time holiness and Pentecost and the power of the Spirit. I'd be carried away. Well, this man uh, was watching us from uh, Jerseyville, Illinois. Way up in Illinois, I've been to Jerseyville, and not too far from St. Louis. And David Aaron Rack, I would pronounce his name. He said, I'm feeling the Holy Ghost all the way up here in Jerseyville, Illinois, tonight in this service, 5 17 15. Thank God for the fix it gave me tonight. <laughs> praise the name of the Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody give God a praise. Yeah. Hey, what do you feel so for? What do you feel so solid for? Lead the way, elders. I said lead the way, elders. I've got some of the elders to praise our God. Man, lead the way, saints. Uh, isn't that wonderful? A man from Jerseyville, Illinois. Let me read that again. My God. Feeling the... What, what, what service was that? 517. And that was, uh, was... That was week before last, wasn't it? Uh, about 10 days ago. And uh, so he said, Feeling the Holy Ghost. You may be listening to us tonight. Oh, for the David Yard. Feeling the Holy Ghost. All the way up here in Jerseyville, Illinois. Tonight in this service, 517 15. Thank God. Thank God. For the fix yeah. it gave me tonight. Yeah. Aren't you glad for the Holy Ghost hope? Yeah. Some people out of the world don't. But we've got the Holy Ghost hope. Praise the name of the Lord. Sorry for some people in the world. Oh, that God is the dope. Yeah. We've got the hope. Yeah. Praise yeah. our God. Yeah. We've got the hope. Yeah. Thank God for it tonight. Thank you, Lord. So I'm glad for this Holy Ghost hope. And um, I'm glad to see the, um, the way the Lord is moving and the way the Lord is gradually bringing himself to rule on this earth. Yes. And uh, little by little, I'm here to serve notice. As long as Brother Marlowe lives and some people like me, the church is not going to whip away in the darkness. Right. It's not going to have a take a secondary message and start preaching a compromise. Come on. The, the, the Holy Ghost Church will not move away from the power of Pentecost, from Holy Ghost living, from righteous living, from sanctification. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. 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 A definite work of grace. I said sanctification. Setting apart. You're not working on it. You'd better start working on it. Uh, don't talk about it, but if you've wronged somebody, make it right. If you've, if you've hurt somebody, heal the wound. If you've uh, gossiped about somebody, stop it. If you've done anything unholy, if you've slipped around, dipped a little bit, tripped a little bit, uh, sneaked a little bit, stop it. Praise the name of the Lord. Put up the red light. Start calling on God. Get the church clean from corner to corner. Let holiness be in the church. Let righteousness be in the church. Let the power of God be in the church. Let the glory of the Lord be in the church. Don't be ashamed to lift your hand. Don't be afraid to shake the shot. Don't be ashamed of the old time. Holy Ghost, Pentecost. Praise the name of the Lord. We're in the world. No, I'm not in the world. I'm out of the world. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm out of this world. Amen. A forsaken houses, land, mother, brother, and sisters made the trip up to, uh, to Michigan. Thank you for praying. The church in Cadillac 
sends us greetings. They're doing good up there. I had a soul saved, a woman healed of COPD over the weekend in the service. A young woman came, never heard of the Holy Ghost. Uh, somebody told her about the service, and she came. And she said, I don't even know what the Holy Ghost is. Hello, I don't even know what it's about. Yeah. We brought her down to the altar and prayed for her. Yeah. And the power of God run through her lungs like a fire. Thank Praise you. the name of the Lord. Yeah. The woman was, uh, believed in the Holy Ghost and accepted it. Praise the name of the Lord. God's not dead. God's not true. Amen. Wake yourself up. Get your tails up. problems. Don't let your problem with a wife or with a husband or with the children. Treat your husband right. Amen. Love him as you should. Wife, yes. amen. amen. Husband, love your wives as you should. Yes. Amen. Uh, treat them right. Uh, get some zeal about you. Uh, remember, somebody said, oh, God won't do it. Yes, he will do it. He'll take care of you. He'll help you. Praise the name of the Lord. So, so I, I feel like it's a day right now the Lord wants the church to move in to a great blessing, a great anointing. God wants the church to get past our issues, past our problems. Amen. Humble yourself. Humble your spirit. Humble your pride. Break down your human flesh. Amen. You're crucified with Christ. I'm crucified with Christ. Uh, I love Galatians, the second chapter, the 20th verse. I would burn it across this building if I could. Paul the Apostle said, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but the life I now live in the flesh. I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me, my God, tonight. Praise the name of the Lord. I live in this life in the nasty now and now. Oh, I'm going to do it right when I get to the sweet by and by. I'll conquer this temper. I'll conquer this spirit. I'll conquer this jealousy I've got. I've con I'll conquer this envy. Uh, I'll conquer this unkind nature I manifest. I'll conquer this rude spirit I show. No, no you won't in the sweet by and by. Because if you can and I can't do it, in the nasty, 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 now and then, I'm not going to see any sweet by and by. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Because here's where I live for God. Here's where the power of the Holy Ghost comes upon me. Here's where I touch God. Here's where I feel the Lord coming in. Here's where I'm not ashamed to give him the praise. Here's where I shout glory. Not when I get to be with an angel. Not when I stand in the midst of the angels. Right here. Right here. Praise the name of the Lord. Right here. On this earth is where I live for God. Here's where I'm a Christian. Here's where I walk with God. Here's where I have faith. Here's where I have uh, 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 discipline in my spirit. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. I love this. Uh, I love this. Uh, I'm going to go first, I think. To Daniel, the seventh chapter. And uh, Daniel is seeing 